I love it. My parents live there in, in North Shore, in uh, Milford. Milford? Yeah, yeah. So they've been there 20 years. I was there a few months ago. And it's, it's a great place. So I'll be settling there after, after pure, my post-pure days. Good. Great place. Great place. Well, now that we've got out the, that out yeah, the way. It's a small world. Yeah. Well, yeah. Welcome to Breaking Vegan. I'm Jay De Engel, Jay Foot. We're here with Colin. We now know where he's from and what he's doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Too much information, but uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So tell us more about Pure. Um, well, uh, I'll start at the beginning, shall I? Yeah, so yeah. started in 2000. Um, our first studio opened in 2002. Okay. So, and um, I've been in Hong Kong since 77, kind of grew up there. Wow. Um, and I led quite an active life. I used to play a lot of tennis. Um, had a number of other businesses since I was about 12 or 13, so I've done little things. Okay. Uh, and, um, and then I stopped playing competitive tennis in about mid-90s. Okay. And I was looking for something new to do. And I, I had no idea what it would be. And while on a golf holiday in the summer of 2001, someone suggested we do a yoga class, which I thought was a bit of a crazy. I'd never done a single class in my life. I'd always gone to the gym, I'd run. I was very active. Anyway, ended up doing a yoga class and uh, so impressed, loved it. Okay. And that was in the sun, that was in about August 2001. Came back to Hong Kong in, um, uh, and generally missed the yoga. Did an, went back to Whistler, where I took my first class. Um, took a few more classes. Okay. And then came back to Hong Kong in September, found a partner, um, got a site, got the keys, got, and then built it in December and opened in January. And we ended up opening our first few yoga. Wow. And, um, you know, that was 2002. That goes back a long way. And yeah, then, the yoga community is very young there. So we started with Pure Yoga in 2002, and we've grown into, um, we've added Pure Fitness that opened in 2003. Okay. And a lot of people think of us as starting with fitness, we actually started with yoga. Oh, wow. So, yeah, okay. yeah. And so, and, you know, we started with three teachers, uh, myself handing out towels, checking people in. As small companies start, you know, or new companies start small, so we were no exception. And then we um, added new food, which is a healthy kind of line of, um, organic cold pressed juices, superfood smoothies. We okay. have vegan, we have vegetarian, we have paleo, we have you know, all the kind of healthy organic food yeah, that, yeah. that is very complementary to people who practice yoga and people who work out in the gym. And then we added Pure Power, which is our activewear line, in, uh, about three years ago. And then we lo we're launching a week Monday My Pure Yoga, which is a, a digital platform so people can, because um, we have all the teachers. So we've recorded 300 hours of teachers so they can start wow. practicing yoga anywhere in the world. Just go to My Pure Yoga. Dot com. Yeah, we appreciate oh. that. Thank you. Um, and then you can, it, it's complimentary, it's free, and then eventually we'll add the premium content like workshops and trainings and TTs and stuff. So it, we've kind of evolved into more of a, a lifestyle brand. Yeah. Covering mm -hmm. yoga, fitness, um, uh, active wear, digital platform, but also new food. That's uh, that I played, uh, that nude food, there's two things that have actually um, played a big part in my life. One was the first yoga class I did. Okay. And started with yoga. The second thing was nude food. And the impact it's had on my life. How did, how did nude food start? Well, we we were looking at um, kind of what people were interested. In. This this was about when we know sixteen. This was about four years ago, and we could see a big movement towards healthy food. Yeah, yeah. and it plays a big part. Listen, we are what we eat. I mean, it's it's common sense. So eat crap, get sick. I mean, it, it's and, and you look at the obesity problems, diabetes, heart disease, cancer. You look at it all. A lot of them are lifestyle driven. Yeah, a lot of yeah. that. Okay, smoking is one part, alcohol, but it's diet. Everyone eats three, four times a day, whatever. But a lot of it is driven by food. And so we thought for us to be authentic and genuine and to do meaning, meaningful good to people's lives, we had to incorporate the healthy side of food. So we started with food. And, um, and I eat there all day, every day, and on weekends when I'm not going to be in the office. But, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's had a huge impact on my life in terms of you know, how I look at the world, how I look at what people eat, how I look at how the world has been eating for the last 30, 40, 50 years. And it hasn't been going in a good direction. Yeah. And things are, should shift, and I, I think they're starting to shift. They're starting to shift. Oh, especially here in Asia, it's yes. been a huge, yes. huge yes. change. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, we, we spoke about, I've only been living here for eight months, but since the first time I was here three years ago, yeah. second time, third time, it's just day, each time I come back, there's yeah. more people, more people, yeah. more yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think for us, timing was important. If we'd opened new food seven, eight, nine years ago, the market wasn't ready. Yeah. You know, yeah. organic or vegetarian or vegan. And it was like, but now, it's become not mainstream yet, 
but it worked. And Come vegan's on. quite a new word in China. Yes, yes. Well, I, also in Hong Kong a bit. Okay. It is quite new. It's new to me. I mean, I went vegetarian um, mm -hmm. October last year. Vegan recently, a month or two ago. It, it's 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 hard to go from eating what I did to just taking out, you know, obviously the fish, but or dairy as well. Yeah. Um, and traveling uh, is even harder. For fate. Yes, I did a little stretch, but, uh, but I survived. But, uh, yeah, but, and I mean researching about it and watching the movies and the documentaries, and it makes me even more committed um, to, to going this direction for a number of reasons. So what, what made the transition from eating meat to vegetarian? Um, from eating meat to going vegetarian, a number of factors. Number one, I became a father. Okay. okay. And I started to think about, thank you, thank you, that, you know, with my wife, we had a baby. And then I started to think about what goes happen in the, in the um, meat industry, the animal farming industry. And you, you know, if you on social media, you see on your feed that there's some short videos or photos of the, 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 the horror that goes on in those small houses and the torture and the death. And the, it's just, I mean, I think I, I couldn't come to terms with it, and I thought, well. If I can't watch the video, how can I eat? I can't ignore what goes on, that I've yeah. got this thing on my... And now, it's changed. <clears throat> People say, well, how much, do you miss me? I said, well, actually, it's, it's more the other way. When I see it, I think of the, the death and the, the animals that are brought up basically to have babies so we can eat. But I'm a father. And I believe in animal rights. And I, I, I love animals, so I don't eat them. I love lots of things. You just don't eat them. And I can't ignore the, the the horrors that go on, and you know, and some people do, which is fine. And I try I try not to preach, um, but I I'm, very, I'm pretty passionate about it, and I'm yeah. behind it. So I, I've got something going on. So vegetarian first, yeah. and then the change from vegetarian to vegan. But then you know, because that that's vegetarian versus vegan. That's just hardcore. Yeah. The, the difference yeah. Yeah, for a lot of it's, people. No, it's tough, and I've, been, I've got to be careful because who, who knows where I'll be in a year. So <laughs> I've got to be careful. But um, look at what go, goes on in the dairy industry. So if, if part of the reason there were three reasons I went vegetarian. One was um, the horrors that go on, and I love animals. I, I have three dogs, and you know, okay. um, uh, and the other was equally important was the fact that of the the the, the number of cancer cases in the world and the the um, colon cancer amongst men. Uh, uh, obesity, diabetes, you look at all those things, a lot, is, a lot of it is driven I think, by food, a lot of it is driven by meat. Okay. Um, and so I made that decision that, well, it's better for my body as well. Um, and, and, and so if, if, if I love animals, look at dairy. <laughs> animals are kept for us to have milk, which apparently is good for you. We were brought up that we need calcium for milk and all that stuff, which I've been reading more about that could be a great myth perpetuated by the dairy industry. It goes all, you know, and then you've got the US government that they, f they subsidize dairy and the farm industry, and then they pay research to find out what's going on with all these diseases, and then they have to pay for healthcare. It's like they've so got the it's, one it's, spends it's, off that. Yeah, earth. totally, totally. Why not subsidize healthy food? Spend maybe a tenth of those three areas. I've got to be careful. I may be coming across too preachy, and I'm not that knowledgeable. Well, no. I, I, there was a very interesting article I am aware of that the government does uh, the I think it was the, the cancer uh, research or someone was funding the advertisement for the milk and the yeah. dairy. It's crazy. Uh, so the one that fixes the other one is paying for yes. the other one yes. to promote let's, the other let's one. Let's pay to cause this problem, then let's pay, pay to solve it. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, come not too preachy. I met a guy the other day. He's in the government of. Yeah. Uh, medical in the States and he comes to China and he does uh, evaluations on companies and medicines and I asked that specific question of us as a public eye yeah we read things that we think are true I yeah. said but I've always had a conspiracy that well we don't really know what goes on and he yeah. says that it's so true 80% yeah. of what actually goes on with all the research we don't ever find out yeah, yeah. because it's controlled by the yes, government yes. and it's controlled they by an the agenda they have an agenda yeah. 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 So at the end of the day, I don't like to listen to research. I like to listen to my own body as yes. that's exactly yes. what you're yes. doing. Yes. And so the third reason for going vegetarian was um, for the environment. 
because yeah, the, the farming industry, you know, the, the amount it contributes to greenhouse gases and you know, water, you know, the, 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 the wastage water that goes into uh, our drinking water system uh, and pollutes that, and the amount of land it takes up. And it's, and, and it's not on a sustainable path yeah. the, whole, the, whole, the whole system. So um, those were kind of the three reasons that I started with. Then I started, yeah, reading about, you know, the, what goes on in the dairy industry. And I, I was just, I've been pretty naive my whole life. And I can't knowingly drink milk and eat eggs. And, well, which I love scrambled eggs, I just have it all the time. But knowing what goes on, it's pretty easy because it's not that hard to give it up. Yeah. But I've got to find substitute, but I have new food, so I'm lucky because I can. And so I, I have downstairs, you know, I work in, in the office that we have, we have a studio downstairs with new food. I have my super good smoothie for breakfast every day. I'm taking, um, you know, chia seeds with that. And I've got three or four different smoothies that I take each week that give me a balanced diet. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, it does make it a lot easier. Well, it makes it much, much easier. Yeah. And how have you found your, your diet, your, your health change? Did you, from going to vegetarian and then going to vegan, what were the changes you've, or the transitioning? Well, vegan is quite new, so I'm still kind of going through those phases, but okay. I feel, I mean, I sleep less, I have more energy, I feel great. I don't feel tired or slouch. I'm eating less. Okay. So my body, because the food is healthier, is more efficient. It uses less energy um, to absorb it and gives me, and because it has more nutrients, actually, it's, it's a win-win. It's amazing. And the other thing I do, what I do, I have a, a dinner earlier, 6.30ish. Okay. I sound like an old man. I am. I'm 50. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But, um, so dinner earlier and lighter. It's okay. You're vegan. You, you lose a few ages edge, yeah, as done, you go on. Done, yeah. Done. But, and so I have, um, my, my stomach shrunk, so I'm eating less because um, I don't need to eat as much, okay. and I'm eating lighter and I'm eating earlier. So you know, I, if I if I went out to dinner, if I had a big dinner at like nine o'clock, I'd, I'd sleep way less. I'd have a bad night of sleep. So eating a light, small portion earlier of healthy food, uh, I, I sleep so much. But I, I get up naturally now at easier six o'clock, okay. and I feel great. And do you wake up hungry? No. Okay. No. No, and it, it's funny. I at home, I when I get dinner, I'm like, it used to be whatever size it was. Now I, I cut it down by half. So okay, take half away. I eat that bit, then take another half away. I'm down to a small bit. But you know, I think that the portion size as well. I think the portion size of some of these restaurants, people eat it because it's there. They don't need to. And the reason the appetite is so big is because they eat so much. It kind of it's it's an up, it's either an upward spiral or a downward spiral. And so the portion size is a problem as well. What's going on? Amazing. Yeah. So I love the so, story. I love what you're doing. And how can people and what find doing, out and what you're doing? So keep it up. <laughs> Thanks. And how can people find out a bit more about your guys' studios, your yoga? Are you guys on Instagram? We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We have a website, pure-yoga.com or pure-fitness.com. And new food is all new.com. They can go to any of those. And, and yeah, check us on Facebook, on Instagram, on our websites. Come in. You know, we, we generally want to help people live healthier and happier lives. And a big part of it is nutrition, without a doubt. And so I actually, quickly, I have a pure challenge. So it's the pure the pure um, power plant challenge. So I okay. challenge all my staff for the month of July to join me to either become vegan or go vegetarian, because for some, either one's tough. Mm -hmm. And for the month of July, sign yeah. up at the, at the end of June. And if you're successful, let me know. And um, no one's against earning a bit more money, so I'll have a bit of a lucky draw and they can make some money. And so I'm, I'm going to try and do this on a regular basis, convince the staff to join me. Because we're, help, we're, you know, we're helping people lead healthier lives. We should be sure. Yeah, there we go. That's that's how to do it. It. And give them a bit of a consented behind the Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you very and, much. And uh, that's Colin, guys, from Pure Yoga Studios. Amazing, amazing what they're doing. Amazing workshops. And uh, it's been a pleasure... Speaking to them and finding out, and yet yeah, have a look at the links and have a great day. And we'll see you at our next show. Cheers, guys.